Good morning, and peace be with you. My name is Patrick Landry, and I am the very proud president of Notre Dame School of Milwaukee. Many of you might know the school as Notre Dame Middle School, which was our founding name when the school opened in 1996. We, are, we have now added both an elementary school and a boys' middle school to our original girls' middle school. And so we are one school, but on two campuses, and we have three programs, co-ed elementary school, an all-girls middle school, and an all-boys middle school. We're a Catholic school sponsored by the School Sisters of Notre Dame, and we're located on the near south side of Milwaukee. And I know the partnership with the school has been before my time and I'm here for three reasons. One, to express gratitude. Two, to give you a short update on the school. And three, to encourage you to consider coming to our Lend a Hand service morning on November 9th. On behalf of our parents, our students, and our staff, thank you for your continued prayers and your support for Notre Dame School. It has no doubt been a very challenging time. The last year and a half has had many disruptions, but we've been able to weather the storm because of the support of so many of our guardian angels, including St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. From the gift of time that many of you contribute as board members, as committee members, as mentors, and as volunteers to collecting vans full of school supplies, to making sure and to donating funds so that every child had a computer and every home had internet, to giving and providing scholarships to our graduates who would be unable to attend the high school of their choice without your support. Thank you. Second, anytime you turn on the news or the TV, you see there is so much violence, division, and pessimism, particularly in and about Milwaukee right now. Much of it deserved. But I come to give you a message of hope in our city. Notre Dame is a beacon of hope for our families and our children. Just in the last year, we've opened up a $7 million addition to give our children a gym, a science lab, a library, new playgrounds. We've added three-year-old kindergarten classrooms, and from 26 girls in 1996, we now serve 593 students. Every child is back in person, and we have not had one trace of COVID spread in the school buildings. Just as important though, and I am inspired by this all the time, is our strong parental engagement. We had parent-teacher conferences this past Thursday and Friday, and every parent showed up. That support is absolutely critical to our success. Finally, I would like to invite you to our Lend a Hand morning on Tuesday, November 9th. One thing that we've seen that's real across schools is there's been learning loss because of how disruptive the last year and a half has been, on, for, has been for children. That morning, you'll be meeting at Seton and you'll come down to the school to see us in action, but also to give a morning of service, to volunteer in classrooms, to read to a child, to have them read to you, to help play math games or help a child with math facts. If you've ever thought of, maybe I'm interested in getting involved at this, that school, or just would like to see what we're doing, please come visit. It's a chance to dip your toe in the water and to give it a try. And if it becomes something you're interested in consistently, we can absolutely talk. There's signups in the back. Both Therese and Dave Fennelly and I will be back there. Uh, but there's also information in the bulletin and online. Thank you for your continued prayers, and I hope to see you on November 9th. God bless you.